Well, good evening, New Mexico. Tomorrow, our state will say their goodbyes to a state police officer brazenly killed in the line of duty. It was nearly two weeks ago when state police officer Justin Hare was shot and killed while trying to help a driver stranded on the side of I-40. And tonight, for the very first time, we are seeing the frantic moments when law enforcement first arrived on scene, desperately looking for clues and desperately looking for the suspect they believe pulled the trigger. Griffin Rushton joins us now to walk us through this very intense video. Griffin. Yeah, Trevor, it was only a matter of minutes until New Mexico State Police and Quay County deputies arrived on scene trying to piece together what happened. Now, before we get into the video, let's quickly run through what happened that morning. State Police say Officer Hare stopped uh, around here around 5 a.m. to assist that vehicle with flat tires. It's about 10 miles outside of Tucumcari. This is where Jeremy Smith reportedly shot Hare, who was still inside his police vehicle before Smith reportedly pushed his body to the side and drove off in that police car. Now, state police say Smith pushed Hare's body out of the car a few miles down the road. It's along the frontage road here before eventually crashing his police unit further down the road. Now, the video we are about to show you is from Quay County deputies. It includes the moments that they arrived at both of those scenes, all three of them. And we want to warn you, some of this video might be intense to watch. It was nearly 40 minutes after state police officer Justin Hare was shot on the side of I-40 when Quay County Deputy Mario Chavez arrives to this scene. Hello. Officer Hare's police unit crashed on the side of the road, lights still flashing. Deputies search the vehicle, but the suspect is gone, and so is Officer Hare. I don't know if he might have gotten out. If he jumped out or something, it'd have to be a little bit back, a little bit east. I'm trying to find blood. Meanwhile, Deputy Joseph Otera is running down the side of I-40, approaching the white BMW Officer Hare pulled over to help. Otero is holding his gun as he walks up to the empty car. Looks like there's a key still in here. Otero and state police officers are looking for clues and Officer Hare. Hare would have been behind him, so let's look over there. About 15 minutes later, I'm coming, brother, I'm coming. Where they found the officer. Otero finds him on the side of the frontage road and calls for help. We need a 55 here now. 55 now. Within minutes, Officer Hare is taken away in an ambulance. Officers on scene revealed his gun was still in its holster. This is when the manhunt begins. I don't think there's anyone else, dude. They're all looking for this dude right now. Back at the crash vehicle. I think he would have too far that way. Chavez is trying to figure out where the suspect ran off to. The trail grows colder as the sun starts to rise. More than likely the train's out of the picture. Chavez sets his sights to a van driving near the scene. Hey, I'm coming on passenger side. It's been nearly three hours since the initial traffic stop. There's no sign of a suspect. It's the same story for this abandoned truck on the side of I-40, now five hours after the traffic stop. Yeah, that manhood lasted nearly 48 hours. Yeah. Jeremy Smith was spotted at an Albuquerque gas station two days after that shooting. He was arrested by Bernalillo County deputies after a shootout in a neighborhood not too far from that gas station. And once again, remember, we know that Smith is facing a laundry list of charges, but he's still also a person of interest in a South Carolina murder that happened right before this incident. Yeah, you know, we know Smith was supposed to make his first appearance in federal court today, but that hearing was post postponed because we're told Smith is still recovering from an injury he received during that shootout with BCSO deputies. Now, we'll tell you there will be a funeral for Officer Hare tomorrow morning here in Albuquerque. It's happening at Legacy Church near Central and Unser. The public is invited to attend, and there will be a large procession of law enforcement traveling from a funeral home in Rio Rancho. We're going to have multiple crews there tomorrow morning. All right, Griffin, thank you for your update on that situation.